huh, check this thing out. The Renogy, brand new, brand new. This one is the RIV 1230 PU, <laughs> like PU-126. But I don't just want to look at this. I don't just want to go, wow, that's pretty. I want to open it up. So I've hooked it up to the cables because I live dangerously. And I have learned that this thing is literally just 14 watts. 14 watts idle. Basically one amp. Freaking sweet. It's like a sweet power, but or energy. Um, let's see. To take it apart, it looks like two screws there. Two screws there. They're sp spread further apart. So you can't reverse that. That's obvious. Um, it has a hard wire with... Huh, got to do some more studying there. That looks like uh, transfer switch things. All right, hold on, guys. Let me look. I can't just be those two. Nope, it's not. And you got one, two, three. Hopefully, that's it. Looks like six and four, ten screws. And I'll have this thing open. So it's time. I got it all ready to get Kira so we can lay everything out. Yeah. Where's, where's Kira? Everybody. Today in this video we are going to be reviewing something that hasn't actually came out yet. Now this is the Renogy 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter and it has a transfer switch which is interesting. It also has a nice little remote and built in Bluetooth. We are going to be, we already took a, we already took the cap off but we are going to be showing you the insides and we are going to be running a few tests and we are also going to be showing you our batteries. That's right guys, these are SFK, Sun Fun Kits. The most power you can get in a box for the dollar you pay. And y'all go down here, right there, sunfunkits.com. And if you send them an email and mention John with Olympic Power Controls, they'll probably give and you a I'll percentage off. And I'll put a link off. down below the video so you can get these when they come up. Yep, absolutely. Look below the video, she'll get you a link. Yep. All right, so we'll be right back. And we're going to show you what it can do. have got everything set up so that we can run the maximum load on this inverter. I have the app installed in the phone and dad is going to show you the insights because it has Bluetooth. Very nice. <laughs> so it's a little easier to deal with. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Bluetooth, but Renogy is pretty uninvasive. Um, there's quite a few things they don't tell you in this manual, which I'm going to show you. Now, like she said in the beginning of the video, this has not been released yet and it might be on limited sale. But look below the video, I will direct you straight to these. These are nice, new, heavy freaking units. Um, about what you'd want in an RV, a motorhome, or a small off-grid. And these have a transfer system to where you can have generator or AC from your utility come in, as well as go out into your system and your outlets. All right, now, I want you to take a look inside. Here, let me get this light on. And this edit this because I did it without the light. All right. Look at the massive, massive MOSFETs in this thing. Has MOSFET? Yeah. MOSFETs in this thing. I want to make sure. Look at these babies. That's hard core. This thing's hardcore. And even the SMDs are not the super micro. They're a little bit bigger. So even if you have to replace one, you can. The fans... 25 by 80s, a pair of fans. Supposed to be pretty high volume. It has a uh, um, on-load control that should reach around, I don't know, 1,500 to 2,000 watts. It'll kick. And then it has all the fuses and a cross band right there in a main clad for your power coming in. Very unique double A-sized capacitors. <laughs> they look like batteries. Very unique. Massive, high power, uh, flat tape style wound transformers in it. A, a big toroidal transformer. So what you what you have here is you have your your two stages arranged in a great design that they're using for your heavy heavy output as well as your steps and. It's impressive. This thing is going to be able to switch when the power shuts off or say your generator dies. Say you crank up a generator, it's feeding through. Um, remember what I tell you about the wire there, but as it's feeding through and it dies, this immediately, as soon as that starts to die, switches over. 
So if that generator drops below 90 volts, this will just switch. In other words, that's what they'll do when they start sputtering. Immediately switch. Take the load off of it and act like nothing ever happened. That's cool. If you have a power outage and this is going through here and feeding back out, it does feed it through the whole system, but it, you know, going through and feeding it back out immediately. It's UPS right here, that big, massive relay right down there. It's actually big and it's a uh, 35 amp that will immediately respond. So I'm going to have her give it a little fire up, but I mean, this is a beautiful build guys. I, I got to give them credit. And this is an extremely in-depth operating board. Looks like it has other functions. You see like there may be generator start could be added to this board. Who knows? But quality parts. Very good. So I'll have her uh, go ahead and get this thing ready for fire up. So I'll have her go ahead and set up the remote and show you how it yep, works. So you put it on remote and then you press the button in completely. There you go. And it's going to run a diagnostic. Make sure that button goes in and stays, and then it's powered up. All right. And now, you hear the little clicks. It's checking to see if it has utility power. It's doing its own little checklist, and the fan will run for about nine seconds. All right. So, I'm going to kick this thing over here to AC for the power. And we're going to take a little look, see at the condition of the electricity that it's producing. Here, get that in there straight. All right. So here's what our voltage is: 117, 60 hertz, and a very nice, clean, true sine wave. All right. <laughs> you have one running. So she has some heaters sitting over here that are already running. So let's take a look at the app and see what it's telling us. All right, and it is showing right now 713 watts, which is 23.78% of its ability. That's kind of cool. So this is not anything special, but it does let you know if you're overdoing it with something that you might have or you might be running on it. Now, even with that much falling off of it, it is doing a beautiful job maintaining its voltage and hertz. Not very common. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to be adding more power to it lots more power to it i'm going to give these ptc elements a, sh a few seconds to settle down because these are each 400 watt heaters and we and they can drop a little and raise a little and they can mess with things so we're going to give them that few more seconds here and then i'm going to go ahead and kick on this one here we will kick this one on to the i think a 900 watt or 750 watt and i'll turn the power on to that and then we're going to look over here and we're going to see what it's drawing next so you see that needle come up and that's giving you your power so now it's pushing 1339 and over here on the main meter here we have kill that one up there um, on the main meter we have 1398 watts 1400 watts over here and 1340, man, you this is some freakish level efficiency. This yeah. thing is efficient for it to be pulling 1400 over here and 1340 produced. Guys, that's efficient. I'm. It's not making any noise. It's either. not. No, uh -uh, it's it's not even kicking its fans on yet. Um, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to see if it if it gets worse. So it's pulling 44 percent of its capacity. Let's go ahead and set it up. So now we're going to go on high, and now the fans have kicked on, showing that a load exceeding 2,000 watts will load sensitive will kick your fans on. All right. So we're pulling 2,202 watts over here, and we're pulling 2,367 over here. So that is still pushing the envelope with above 92% efficiency. That's that's good. That's really good. I like that. All right. So what we got now? We're 2202. And let's see. This is 800 watts right here. And I've got plenty of battery. Okay. Those SFKs, they will always supply you enough power. So, and uh, look below the video for a link to SFK. So we are on 800 right here. That's both 400 watt elements. And let's see, now we're pulling 3,044 watts, 101%. And we're pulling 300 or 266 amps, 3,338 watts. This is a check our sine wave. 
Yeah, voltage actually is staying right on 117, 59 hertz. We haven't ran it for a super long time right now. No, but we're pulling 100% plus constant. And and none of these are really made for that. I guess except except this one. So we did just did a video that's on the channel that is of a weird branded one that's really well built and it sustained 96% of its constant for a half hour running all this stuff and then some. That's a long run and it was able to do it. So inverter quality in general has gotten a lot better. So this is a 3000 watt inverter right now. Right now sustaining 3,015 watt output and 33.25 basically. So efficiency has dropped to about 89% roughly with that massive load on it. Massive, massive load on it. Now, over here we have one more 250 watt pull. Let's see what happens. How much is it? And she's beeping. Inverter overload warning. And I and I turned it off and corrected it. But you see how long you heard the click, how long it tried to push that. So that's great startup power. This thing's got excellent startup power. That wasn't expected either. So no. I do like the Renogy now. They they've gotten better. And and to have that app. That's just look, look how stupid simple it don't ask you nothing. You, of course, you have a Renogy account because warranties, but it don't ask you nothing. Okay, be sure when you wire these that you use solid wire 10 gauge. Now, this is just 12, but solid wire 10 gauge. And when you put it in, center it and just five eighths strip, push it in, and it'll lock. It's got one of those strange little locks, but it's a heavy duty one. You'll feel it. It's real strong. It was hell to get that back out. I had to actually use a wire uh, snag remover to get this out after testing it. So what do you guys think? The Renogy. I think I, it, Kara, I think it's a good, I had an old Renogy and it wouldn't have done this. Yeah, especially it, for it being a prototype. And it's still, it's still running right now during this video. It's still running at 100 plus percent. I don't know. I'm shocked. I'm, I'm glad because I didn't expect it. You know, Renogy's selling on their name. They weren't selling quality for a while. And now I think they figured that out. 3,000, seven watts. Yeah, and, um, but if you do have or any- 3,000 watt inverter. Yeah, if you do have any important questions about this stuff, if you go down to the coat by. Yeah, right here. Okay. If you go down to the coat by, then we will be sure to answer you. That's right. So you guys can like, you know, put five or ten dollars on there and yeah. it'll contact me and then you can put your question. So, you know, hey, hey, how did you build this? You know, hey, why? Can, how's that wire work? How's that work like that? Hey, that switch don't work. It's making a noise. Hey, this is yeah. happening. I can lead you through a lot of things through email. So if you ask, I love helping people out because the more of you there are, the better off the world will be if something goes wrong. Yeah. Okay. All right. The Renogy. <laughs> kind of big. Sort of pretty. Simple. Simple. Especially for it being modern. Yeah. 3,000 <laughs> constant for what now? Basically nearly 10 minutes? Yeah. Not all of them are designed to do that. All right, you guys. Stay tuned. We've got a big, huge set of Renogy bifacial solar panels that were extra on a job. I'm keeping them as partial payment, and I'm going to show you them. They're nice. And they're big. <laughs> and they're huge. And they're worth it. Because we just put in 16. He thought he had room for 18. Two of them will be here in a future video coming up real soon. And their quality 
top-notch stuff. So, all right. Y'all be good.